Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Vocational Series in YouTube Tutorials in MATLAB. And today I've been getting the homography between an oblique photograph and a planar photograph. And I'm going to do a very simple example. So just hopefully this is about as basic as it gets. So just to scroll down a little bit, just to they're completely new. We have here, say, a little diagram here. And we have four points. This would be the planar and this is the non planar. So zero zero corresponds to zero zero. One zero corresponds to one zero. Not one, not one, and one one corresponds to two one, etc. Now the the minimum you need to carry out the homography is four points for the four twos are eight. But in the example I'm going to do are going to do uh, five points. We're going to do five points. So that's what we're going to do the correspondences. For each pair of points where the mouse is there, you you build up uh, your matrix and that's how you build it up there. So x, y is the uh, planar and uh, x prime is the non-planar. And then you solve that matrix uh, using SVD composition, singular value decomposition. So the minimum you need is for four uh, pairs of points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the minimum is an eight by nine, but uh, you see here I'm going to do five points and I'm going to, as uh, this example, there's a noisy point. So I'm going to end up, instead of having an eight by nine, I'm going to end up with a ten by nine. So uh, as you know, I, I publish this in MATLAB. So you know these commands, clear all the workspace, clear the screen, close all figures. I've read in the equation, okay, I've read in the image as I say, and, and I've displayed those figures underneath. Now there's the points, dunk, 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 dunk. So I create the matrix, 2 by n points, so that'll be a 10 by 9. Number of points is 5. There's my x and y. There's my x prime, y prime. Th now, this is my loop here. So, for i equals 1 to 5, to build up uh, the matrix there. And what matrix am I talking about? This one here. So, that loop it builds it up. I've displayed that here. Now, it won't display it as a 10 by 9 because it just wasn't wide enough when I published it in MATLAB. So, and then this column here should be tacked out over here. And I should have 10 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, perfect. Excuse me. How do I solve if the number of points is 4? The homography matrix is just a null of it. Otherwise, I get the singular value decomposition of it, and I get the I make it a column matrix of V here. Uh, there's my U matrix. There's my S. There's my V. So I want to get um, the homography dug out of this. Um, so what I did then was I did it manually as it were so I made the homography matrix you know manually or um, yeah, sorry when I say manually comma 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 semicolon so that's row one comma 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 semicolon that's row two comma comma semicolon that's row three that's it there that's my homography matrix and if you don't want to do it sort of that way, I used the reshape command. So I took the 1 by 9 and I reshaped it into a 3 by 3 and there it is. I've posted another video uh, today. I think today is yeah, today is the 5th of June 2013. So I posted another one this morning and you know, it shows you how to apply the homography. You work out the homography between the pairs of control points and then you apply it to the image to get the new image and that's a bit more complicated but this is the simple version. Okay so thanks very much.